these days, it looks like we see this word really a lot. It's lithium. As lithium ion batteries have become the main power source of electric vehicles and electronic devices, the element has garnered much attention. It even has a nickname, white gold. What is lithium? How was it discovered? And why is it called white gold? In fact, lithium has pervaded every corner of our lives. In this cordless era, there are so many wireless devices ranging from smartphones, tablets, and laptops to even earbuds. There are more, wireless vacuum cleaners, cooling fans, mixers, and portable wheeled TVs are also coming to the market. And almost all of them contain lithium. As such, lithium ion batteries are central to the shift to a wireless and more convenient lifestyle. They have become such a Lee important part of our lives. To know about the discovery of lithium, the core element of lithium ion batteries, we should go back to a Swedish village of 1817. Swedish chemist Johan August Erfidesen was analyzing the mineral petalite. He happened to find an element that fizzes and explodes on contact with water. It contained about 4% alkali metals that were unaccounted for. Unlike other alkali metals, this new element was found in a mineral, and so it was named lithium, which comes from lithos, the Greek word for stone. It was first successfully isolated only later in 1818 by British chemist Sir Humphrey Davy, paving the way for the entry of lithium into the battery market. Lithium's atomic number is three, and the symbol is Li. When the atomic mass, the average mass of the atoms of an element measured in atomic mass unit, of 6.941, lithium is the lightest metal. Also, it has the lowest density of all solid elements, meaning it is soft enough to be cut with a knife. As the element reacts easily with oxygen or water that it is found only in compounds in nature, like other alkali metals. In addition, since it reacts violently with water, it is normally stored in oil, such as paraffin wax. Lithium has gained wide attention as it is used for the cathode, one of four major components of lithium ion batteries. The light mass, high energy density, and large capacity of lithium ion batteries made them perfect for electronic devices that require light and long lasting batteries, contributing to mass production of those devices. Lithium ion batteries have made their way to not only portable electronic devices, but electric vehicles and energy storage systems, suggesting a promising future. The largest lithium producers include Australia, China, the US, and Latin American countries, with the last holding 60% of the world's lithium reserves. However, it is so rare that it makes up only 0.006% of Earth's crust. As demand surges, countries and corporations across the world are struggling to obtain lithium, stoking price rises to the point it is called white gold. Many companies are trying various other alternatives for producing rechargeable batteries to meet the growing demand and have made some success. However, no element with as high energy density as lithium has been found to date. Lithium's high demand will continue until the perfect alternative is discovered. There is a growing worry about how to meet the ever-increasing demand. Various solutions are being pursued. Some search for new reserves, some consider extracting lithium from desalination brines, and others are recovering lithium from waste batteries. Today, we have delved into lithium, the core element of rechargeable batteries. It has already become an important part of our lives. How will it contribute to our lives in the future? See you in the next video.